All right then, gang, so in the last video, we created this little loader right here, which looks something like this in the code. Now, I'd like to, in this video, create another loader, but instead of creating a load more code, I basically just want to create an additional property in these variants and then somehow toggle between those different properties for this div on the fly. Now, to do that, I'm going to be using the use cycle hook available to us in Framer Motion, and that allows us to cycle through different values. Now, this is really good for swapping animation types on the fly or even performing multiple animations based on user interaction. So I'm going to be using the use cycle hook to switch between animation properties right here that we supply here. So I'll switch this value out between animation one and maybe animation two. So first of all, let's create animation two inside here. I'm going to say animation two is an object. And this time I'll just say we want to bounce the ball up and down. So I'm not left and right. So Y is going to transition between zero and say minus 40. So a bit higher. And then we want the X and that's just basically going to be zero all of the time. Okay. So next we want to define our transition object. And in here specifically, we want to transition the Y property and we are going to yo-yo this. That will be set to infinity. So it continues indefinitely. The duration will set to 0.25. And then also we're going to give this an easing function and that will be ease out much like above. So they're similar, these and these things, but this one right here is only going to animate up and down like the ball is bouncing on the spot, whereas this one animates the X direction as well. So say I want to toggle between these two. Basically, I want to change the value of this on the fly, right? Well, what I'm going to do to do that is use the use cycle hook. Now, first of all, I need to import that from Framer Motion, use cycle. And by the way, there's many different uses of this. You don't just have to use it to toggle out these things right here. You can use it however you wish. And there's several examples on the web of how you can do that and on the documentation. So I'm going to use it, like I say, to toggle this between animation one and animation two. So I'll say const and it's very much like you state this the way we declare it. I'm going to say the animation that we're going to use and you can give this any value you want or rather any name you want. It really doesn't matter. I'm naming it animation. And then we want to name a function, which is cycle animation. So typically, whatever we call this, I put cycle before it. So this is the function we're going to call to cycle or toggle between values. And when we call this function, this is going to toggle between whatever values we set inside the cycle. So I'll set this equal to use cycle like so. And in here, we can specify a list of different values that we want this to take on whenever we call this function. So, for example, the first one, the default one could be animation one. And the second one, comma separated, would be animation two. And we could have a third if we wanted to, comma separated. But we only have two variants. We have this one right here animation, if we can spell it correctly, animation two and animation one. So we're going to cycle between those two values. So now whenever we call this function, it's going to toggle between animation one and animation two. OK, now the default one is going to be the first one right here. But when we call it, it's going to skip to that one. And then when we call it again, if there's no more in this use cycle, if there was a third one, it would go to that. If there's no more, it's going to go back to the beginning. So now we have that we can maybe create a button which when clicked calls this function. So let me do that below this div. We really don't need a gap in between the div tags right there. So let me create another div right here. Let me say div and give this an on click handler and set that equal to some kind of function which is going to fire. And inside this function, I just want to call cycle animation. Don't have to pass it any arguments. I just want to call cycle animation and that's going to cycle between these two. So let me put some text in this div as well, like change loader or cycle loader. Let's do that because it's a bit more descriptive of what we're doing. Cycle loader. And then we want to not hard code this value, but instead set it equal to whatever animation is this thing right here, which remember is changing every time we call this function, every time we click on this div. Hope that makes sense. So now when we click on this div, it should toggle between these two different loader animations, right? this one and this one. So let me save this and preview. 
and by default we have the same one but if I click on this now then it uses that cycle animation function and it changes the value of this thing right here to this and therefore this value is reflected here and we use this object for the animation okay if we click it again it cycles back and so forth so that is use cycle and how we use it to cycle through different values in frame motion.